over 7,000 people die every year because of medication errors. And that doesn't even count the people that are harmed. Right. And the hospital liability is incredible, the lawsuits and, and everything. It, it adds up to billions and billions of dollars across mm -hmm. the country. So if we can just save, you know, I mean, Terry and I would be happy if we saved one life yeah. with this. I mean, that would make it all worthwhile. But when you think how many could be, could be prevented, how many mistakes could be prevented, that would be incredible. Many ideas come and go, but rare is the idea that has positive impact around the world. Vacaville resident Terry Barton Salinas and her sister Gail Barton Hay are nurses whose patent will have such an impact. Their company, Color Safe IV Lines, is revolutionizing the way medication will be administered in hospitals around the world. Their idea is going to save countless lives and billions of dollars. Where did the idea come about? How did that happen? Well, originally it was, it was Terry's idea. Mm -hmm. She was working uh, in labor and delivery and uh, had multiple IVs going and was having trouble keeping them all organized. We were having a family get together at our other sister's house and we were sitting around telling war stories. The other sister is a RN also. And Gail was talking about this girl at her work who was working on a patent. And I didn't think anything more about it until a few days later, Gail called me and said, Terry, get down here. We're, we have an appointment with a patent attorney. And then the rest is history. We've been trying to get this into the hospitals ever since. So the rest being, how long, how long would that take about? The actual process was a year or mm -hmm. a little bit more. And then so probably nine years or so of trying to get it marketed, manufactured and marketed. It's a long road. When we first started, you know, talking about the patent and everything, we did a lot of research. We have, you know, research books this, this thick of articles in the newspapers, magazines. Uh, it, it's unreal at, at how many medication mistakes that there are that could be solved just by using our color tubing. When you're making uh, a judgment in a patient's care, sometimes you only have seconds mm -hmm. in order to make that, that judgment and to perform the action, give the medication that the patient needs. If you inject into the wrong line, you can kill a patient. And making a medication mistake is every doctor's and nurse's worst nightmare. Nobody wants to make that mistake. And so what nurses have done to avoid that, we put little pieces of tape all the way down. They get, they get wet and it gets smeared, it gets tangled in the bed sheets. Uh, so usually what most nurses And it do, takes 20 minutes oh, right. or a half an hour at the beginning of your shift right. just to mm -hmm. identify your medications right. all along the line. Yeah. Being able to access the, the correct line quickly um, you know, you can save harm. If you think about the billions of dollars that are now spent on litigating these lawsuits because of patient harm, uh, deaths, uh, those billions of dollars could be put to better use, research, other, other things. So it's kind of a wasted, you know, billions of dollars. Um, we work with this uh, mess of spaghetti every day. And it's, it's not easy at all. But with our system, the Color Safe IV lines, not only do we have the colored tubing with our system, but we also have the colored wraparound label. So whenever you're hanging it, your medication, you match it if you're, you know, whatever uh, X medication is in green then you're going to have a green wraparound label so it's easy to identify what medication you have hanging mm -hmm. and what medication you need to replace. You wouldn't uh, hang Y medication, which is orange, you know, on the X medication, which is green. So you have a, a, a double uh, safety factor there, which you don't now, which right now all of the medications have a generic look-alike label that's, I don't know, maybe about two by two inches, and it's a bright orange with black 
ink on it. So it's very hard to tell you that. Get up there and look. Oh, okay, that's what my medication is. Uh, and sometimes you have to turn off a medication quickly. If you have it in big, bold colored letters up at the top, you know which one to shut off quickly. If it's green, you go the, quick, the green line and shut it off. How many tubes do you deal with uh, on an average patient? ICU is going to use a lot of different uh, tubings because they use a lot of different medications. Uh, labor and delivery, we're using more and more uh, IV medications now, so we would have, you know, probably up to five, six. Hmm. ICU more, uh, NICUs would have more. Um, the, tra the big transplant units are working with 14 and 15. IVs. So mm. you can imagine uh, with this clear tubing here, that's only three. Imagine that, uh, you know, five times as much. Mm. It, it, that's a nightmare. And, and it's an accident waiting to happen. Yeah. Yeah. And all, all we are struggling to do is to differentiate the lines, to, to be able to tell quickly and accurately one line, one medication from another. So it's not only going to save time, it's going to save lives, and it's going to save money. Right. Yeah. right. Did you have any idea how, you know, the impact, the total impact that that would be, you know, money-wise even? Initially, no. 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 We, um, we, we knew it would make lives easier for the nurses, mm -hmm. safer for the patients, mm -hmm. and then after we started doing research, um, and uh, the sheer numbers was just yeah. incredible, and right. so... Um, after a while, we kind of did realize how, how big an impact it was going to have, just by sheer numbers. How is it that this happens in, in, in the hospital? You know, I would think that you'd, you'd have nice clean lines, you know, but how does it happen that they end up like this sometimes? You know, I really don't know, <laughs> but it does. And you, you go in and you separate your lines and you go in and you tag them. And, uh, but eventually with the patient turning over in bed, uh, different procedures and like that, the lines get disturbed. Um, if you have to change a patient's gown, whatever, you, you do wind up with a mass of spaghetti. And that's very difficult to you know, access the, the right line. Is it possible that it happens more often in an ICU or emergency situation? Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. The chaos. It's a lot of oh people working God, on yes. the patient, um, yeah. a lot of medications mm -hmm. being given, um, yeah. discontinuing medications, adding medications, yeah. uh, changing the rates. Yeah. Uh, you, you don't want to change the rate on the wrong medication. Right. So. And, and these, these decisions have to be made instantaneously. Right. You, you have to know exactly what's going on with your patient, make the decision, I need to give this patient this medication, and you have to find the right line right now. One mistake could be fatal. Yes, yes, a and, and there's many documented instances of just that problem. And, no and nobody wants to make a mistake. I, I, I live in fear of making a mistake. Everybody lives yeah. in fear of making a mistake. That's why, you know, we put the little pieces of tape on there to not make a mistake. But even then, errors happen. But we're trying to make it safer to, we're trying to make it easier for the nurse to do the right thing at the right time. Two months ago, we went to a trade show in Washington, D.C. That was the ICU Nurses National Convention, and we thought, well, wonder what these nurses are going to say because these are, you know, they need this. And a hundred percent of these nurses loved the idea. There wasn't one nurse that said, mm, I don't know. They all said, when can we get this? Ninety percent of them came by and said, hey, you stole my idea. <laughs> and they t started telling us their war stories oh, okay. of, of disasters that had happened because of a uh, you know, not finding the right line to inject into, that lives were lost. Mm. And, you know, that's, that's a tragedy. So I, we really need to get this product into the hospitals. I mean, I might be a patient someday, <laughs> and, and I want everybody <laughs> yeah. to be really safe. 
when you develop the color tubing, I noticed you got color labels here. Is was that an afterthought or was that planned at the same time? It was it was planned. Yeah. It was planned because it, it provides another level of safety for the nurse and, you know, obviously the patient. Uh, that way you can tell exactly, you know, if you have your medication in the in the green label, you attach it to the green tubing. So they go on the bag then that the tubing comes and it, from. And it's a wrap around so that you can see it from both sides. Okay. So the nurse can tell when she walks into the room, oh, that's a green label and, you know, it's my X medication. Um, without having to go up, turn it around, and try to find the right medication. You can just go to it. It was somebody that's very instrumental in all this that made everything happen for you. How did that come about? Well, that's Mr. Brooks. Yes. And um, we got uh, in touch with Mr. Brooks through uh, Steve Schneider at the Sawyer Center. And we learned about him from listening to KGO Radio. He was, he was a guest speaker on there. And um, we got the phone number from KGO and called up and made an appointment and went in to see Steve Schneider and uh, we showed him our, our prototypes and he understood immediately and liked it and he gave us some guidance and some help and sent us on our way and um, that's about as far as we got. Uh, Terry and I are nurses, not business people. We tried. And we tried everything we could mm -hmm. to get in touch with, um, with people in the business and really didn't get very far. And then one day out of the blue, um, Steve called us up and said, I have somebody you need to meet. And he put us together. And um, ever since then, it's been rolling really well. We've made a lot of progress. And we've been talking to three or four largest companies in the world. And these, some of these major companies, they, they manufacture and sell Ivy lines in over 100 countries. And one of the largest marketing medical companies in the United States is just coming on board now to start marketing our, our product. We're getting phone calls now from South America. We're getting phone calls from Malaysia, China, Australia, England, all around the world, people wanting samples and wanting to get involved in it. It's not gonna be long. You will find them in every hospital room in every hospital in the world. It's going to take a little time, but it's beginning to pick up steam, and it's happening as we speak every single day. Terry and Gail are local pioneers in healthcare who are truly making a difference by saving lives around the world with their color safe IV lines. It's something so simple, it just makes sense. The next time you're in the hospital and you see the various colored IV lines in use, know that they are the brainchild of these two local healthcare pioneers, Terry Barton Salinas and her sister, Gail Barton Hay.